Man, these harpies are no joke. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh god. Yep, you're. <laughs> <laughs> let's use one. Hey, let's let's use. I'm one. gonna need some extra help. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of PlayStation Underground. Very excited today to talk about Dragon's Dogma 2. I'm your host, Brett, and I'm joined on my left by James, who's going to be playing the game for us. Hello. And we have a very special guest in the studio today, Hideaki Itsuno. Hello. And we have Ken here to translate for us as well. Hello. Hello, both from Capcom, uh, here to talk about Dogma 2. And yeah, what are we uh, looking at already here? まあ、こうやってね、あの、幼児のある the player just arrived to the nation of battle here. And as you can see in this game, uh, if there are any NPC, NPCs that have anything with you, they'll come and they'll approach you and talk, talk to you about it. Mm. So I think in the original dogma there was more of that quest board kind of approach to quests, but here the world kind of reaches out to you as the player to pull you in. Oi. What's your problem? And we see walking around behind us, there's three pawns. And I think we're approaching an encounter here with somebody who's not happy we're traveling with pawns. So overall, as a setting in the nation of Batal, uh, pawns aren't, aren't well seen. Uh, they're not liked at all. So if you're, because the main character is walking around with pawns, generally, you'll get people that have an issue with that. I see. And this guy has a particular issue, and I think is uh, start, trying to start something. All you've got. It's only fair, ain't it? Yeah, I sense a fight around the corner, and uh, seems like three or four on one, which doesn't seem very honorable. Oh man! Quite the brawl we're having here. But I must say, these odds are rather craven. Did you leave your honor at the door? And who are you supposed to be? You a friend of this one? Nay, I'm a sellsword. Coin is my only ally. Tis not my conscience that called me here. No, oh, no. I simply cannot stomach acts of cowardice. Is there even one among you with the grit for a proper duel, one on one? That sounds a little more reasonable. He's maybe inadvertently saving us. <laughs> 1対1の方がよっぽどフェアですね。ちょっと助けられてますね、完全にこれは。That's not quite the reaction I was hoping for. Mayhap you know not my face. How about my name then? Ragnar. Ragnar? You're him. From the Scarlet Reigns and the battle for Jeremiah? Well, tis clear you're a man best not crossed. So he has quite the reputation. このラグナルってのはもう名前が通ってる人物なんですね。この辺りでは有名な傭兵ですね。it's a mercenary well known in this area. So he brought someone out to do the fighting for him in a one-on-one -on -one duel. But I have a feeling so the the vocation we're looking at here is the magic archer. で、もう少しまあ、これで Overall, the magic archer vocation is a is a very strong, is a quite a strong vocation, a fairly easy to use, uh, oh. or relatively oh my easy to use vocation. <laughs> yeah, this guy thought he was in for a regular fight. Yeah, he now, actually uh, needs to. He got to bring his friends back in. Yeah, yeah. How about four on one after all? This data, the magic archer, is very strong. So, one-on-one is pretty easy. Also, it might be worth noting that in this in this save data that you guys are trying, uh, we have the magic archer. Well, low, uh, at a level that is pretty high, so yeah, it's a uh, fairly unfair battle. <laughs> it's not, not fair, but hey, they started it, so... <laughs> They're getting their just desserts. <laughs> no mercy shown, huh? None. And everyone who's... <laughs> all these onlookers are just kind of like... I'm trying to make a point. I, I spilled my drink <laughs> over here. As, as the alley is exploding. Alright, so we've had enough. One thing we were going to try to show off here is the ability to purchase a home. Yes, that's one of the characteristics of Dragon's Dogma 2. Uh, it won't come for free. There are surprises, as you can see, but you are able to purchase your own room. And when you have a room, then you can just use it to rest and uh, recover your stats. Mm -hmm. 
Very reasonable real estate prices、yeah. in the city. I think it's a very reasonable real estate prices in the city. I think it's a very reasonable real estate prices in the city. This is because this same data、uh, we prepared it with a significant amount of resources <laughs> yeah. for you to use. Yeah, but like、uh, having your own place to stay versus like the benefits of that versus what staying in an inn that's going to cost money over time, staying out in the wild comes with its own risks. でこのゲームでは、えー、と自分の部屋以外だと、まあ、あの宿屋に泊まったりあるいはキャンプ取ったりでそれぞれリスクとかがあるので、まあ、それを鑑みるとマイ、まあ、ルームも確かにすごく高額,高額とはいい選択肢かもしれませんねもう買えるんなら買った方がいいと思いますねあの仲良くなった人も訪ねてくるかも。Absolutely uh, if you have the resources to buy your room, uh, uh, And we would recommend for you to get it. And also, another thing about having your own room is that、uh, if you have affinity with a、uh, specific character, they might come visit you. Oh, yeah. We were talking about that a little earlier how there was that beloved system in the original Dragon's Dogma, but there's also a lot of, in Dogma 2, we saw a menu that after we talked to an NPC, it brought up all the relationships of different characters. And yeah, there just seems like. There's a lot going on underneath the hood of these character relationships, even among NPCs. The character is different from the other NPC. The other NPC is different from the other NPC. The other NPC is different from the other NPC. The other NPC is different from the other NPC. The other NPC is different from the other NPC. The other NPC is different from the other NPC. The other NPC is different from the other NPC. The other NPC is different from the other NPC. The other NPC is different from the other NPC. <laughs> yeah, well, we're having the worst luck today. Yeah, I don't think the Griffin cares about all that. So, the man who has a Griffin, I'm not sure what I'm saying. They were seeing kind of a homing fire. So, yeah, the, the Archer character here,、um, you can see with L1, brings up different arrow types. There's flame, ice, lightning, there's even a healing arrow. But that flaming arrow you were shooting has a sort of a homing directional quality, too, where you can, oh god,、uh, steer it in midair. マジックアーチャーいろんな、えっと、カスタムスキルがあるんですけどその中でもこの炎の矢は、まあ、相手のいるところまであの追撃できるっていう,あいうあの自分で操作して当たらせるっていう特徴があってすごく使いやすいですねそうですねしかもあの特にこのグリフィンにはすごくよく効く技なので<笑>、まあ、めちゃめちゃ効いてますね。Yeah, and as you can see, the homing fire arrow is a... Particularly useful skill against,、uh, effective skill against the Griffin. So,、mm-hmm. yeah, you can see it's inflicting a lot of damage. Yeah. And the other, one of the pawns, Luke, is like grappled onto the side of its face. And it's just an ex- a good time to talk about there's three pawns here supporting the Magic Archer. But obviously, when you build your own party, you want to complement different strengths and vocations. So, what are the, the three pawns we're playing with here, and how might they help this, this class? The, eh, ma, ch- いいのでポーンに関して改めて、まあ、このゲームでは自分のポーンあの自分のメインポーンを作るのと、まあ、パーティーを構成するときにいろんなジョブをバランスよく、えー、と選,選ぶっていう、えー、とコツがあると思うんですけど例えば今マジックアーチャーに対して、まあ、今どんなポーンがいてどういうバランあのどんなふうにバランスがすればバランスが取りやすいんでしょうかマジックアーチャーの攻撃って基本的には魔法攻撃ばっかりになりますので。Oh. あの物理攻撃が効くキャラそしてあの近距離で物理攻撃が効くキャラと組み合わせると、まあ、バランスは良くなりますね。So for example, the magic archer, all the attacks of the magic archer are magic attacks.、Mm. Uh, so you can see from long to medium distance. So it becomes a good balance when you use a magic archer with pawns that have vocations specialized in close counter attacks and physical attacks. That balances the party pretty well. Nice. これね、こうやってね、街中にグルフィン連れてきて戦うと、まあ、もちろんその逃げ惑ったりすごいことになってるんですけども、これで重要人物とかが巻き込まれて、死んじゃったりすると大変ですよ。Also, one thing all worthy, as you can see right now, is there's mayhem because the Griffin is you're engaging in battle with the Griffin inside the city. In the city, yeah. So, not only that, but If one of the main characters,、uh, main, main、uh, relevant NPCs, gets involved in this battle、mm-hmm. and passes away or something, that has serious consequences in the game. Right, like those relationships we were talking about. 
あそうですそうですあのー、まああの重要人物が死ぬとクエストが進みにくくなったりとか結構大変なんで街中での戦闘は早く片付けるかどっか遠くに大き出さないと結構後で苦労すると思います Not only that but Not only the relationships, but also if they get if, if some of the relevant NPCs for specific quests、mm -hmm. get involved in these battles and <laughs> pass away or something, it will have significant impact on your progress. So,、right. yeah, the recommendation when you are engaging in battle and drag the monsters to the cities, get rid of them or drive them away from the cities as soon as possible. All right, quite the posse for this one. Yeah, Thanks, it's nice they showed up to help. That's pretty cool. Wow. いろんな NPC に助けてもらってますね。そうですね。あのこういうところで戦うと、まあみんな助けてくれたり、あの武器持ってらっしゃる人逃げ回ったりとか、NPC がそれぞれその自分の役割で動きます。That's the thing. Every NPC has their role. So NPCs with weapons help engage in combat because they can all be affected. NPCs that don't have any weapons just run away. They act accordingly to their role in the game.、Hmm. And so that was we took one step out of town, and that happened. So.、Uh, <laughs> What else, as, as players, kind of, when, when the game comes out later this month in March,、uh, what can they expect when they really set out into the world? Like, what is the typical experience for Dragon's Dogma when you, you get started and set out into the map? I'm going to go to the next one. 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 今あの行ったところしかマップを剥げないんですけどもマップのどんどんこうマスクを取っていって新しいものを発見していくと、まあ、次の展開がどんどん回ってるのでどんどんどんどんマップのマスクを取っていくように行動していくのがいいかなと思います。Oh, no. <笑> the recommendation would be well the map only shows the part the areas where you've been to、uh, so yeah we would recommend people to Clear the map as, as much as possible、uh, because that will show you the next areas of interest,、mm -hmm. other, other places where you'll find interesting things to do. So, yeah, try to pr priority on making the map as visible as possible. And these harpies are no joke. Yeah. Oh, 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 <laughs> let's use one. Hey, let's, let's use I'm going to need some extra help. I couldn't even trust it. But he was saying, yeah, you're, you're about to. Yep. Let's get back up there. Can we from here? I think you might be missing a pawn. Yeah, yeah it looks like it. Yeah, it fell behind. Whoa. <laughs> But that, that kind of a, this, this exact kind of emergent situational thing was, was definitely a hallmark of the original Dragon's Dogma, where you're fighting a small enemy and then a larger one shows up, and now total chaos breaks out. Your pawns. Oh, got him. It, it's, and it's just a sense of chaos that's, that's, I don't know, it feels very dynamic and, and alive, which was very fun. And I mean, obviously back here for the second game. In Dragon's Dogma 1, when you're fighting in the middle of the night, you're going to be able to get a lot of chaos. You're going to be able to get a lot of chaos. You're going to be able to get a lot of chaos. You're going to be able to get a lot of chaos. You're going to be able to get a lot of chaos. You're going to be able to get やってて楽しいですねこれはいやもう特にあの2はあの敵がどこまでも追ってくるのでこういうシチュエーションは多いですよかなり気をつけないと。And a big difference in Dragon's Dogma 2 is that、uh, the, the, player, the enemies will keep chasing you all over the place so、uh, this kind of situations are even more common so yeah proceed with care。Yeah and obviously we, we're not on any particular quest right now we're kind of Roaming the countryside, showing off some combat. The Griffin fight was kind of a, a dynamic thing that happened.、Um, but in general, you would have a primary quest and a number of side quests, and then obviously just the sense of exploration as you go across the world map and see what happens. あのメインクエストなりサイドクエストなりを進めながら、えー、こういうこういった戦闘でを楽しみながら進んでいくっていう流れなんでしょうかそうですねあのまあ、クエストにメインもサ,サイドもそんなに区別はしてないんですけどもまあ、気になったクエストから順番にやっていけば話は自然に進むようになっていますので気になったクエストからやっていただければいいかなと思っています 
One thing noteworthy is that there's no clear distinction in this game between main main quests and side quests. Oh. So it's made in a way that we encourage the, the, the player to go and do the quests that they feel like doing, and that will allow natural progression through the game. So you just go there and do whatever you feel like you should be doing. Nice. Okay, we're jumping over real quick to the Rift Stone, Rift area where the pawns are actually recruited, uh, which is, again, that unique element to the original Dogma back here for Dragon's Dogma 2. But by entering, you can search for pawns and hire them. Um, but that's a, yeah, help us help us find a new pawn. Yeah, we need some new friends. Yeah, we need some new friends. If you can just press cancel and just walk around, you'll find a lot of. Yep. Oh, here they are. I like to look at this guy. He's got a nice beard, nice hair. Looks like he can take some hits. So yeah, when you're playing, if you're playing online, you'll be you'll be seeing pawns of actually other people. Right, because as a player, you'll make your own pawn, and they will appear in this rift for other players to recruit. It's very cool. ここがまあね、どっちなかったってとかのストのポンを実際にここで借りることができます。はい。で、自分のポンも同じように。あのLRで情報を上の情報変えれるんで、レベルとジョブだけじゃなくてどんなカスタムスキル持ってるかとかね